my main question was sure. about the term eradicate transgenderism. Yeah, sure. so can I give you some examples? Yeah, uh, sure. we, sh we shouldn't teach it in our schools. We also shouldn't allow men to compete against women in NCAA sports. Okay. What about, what about the people who are transgender that have converted, are currently how about transgender? This? So why Did you forcefully detransition them? Yeah, how about, or what's why, the why couldn't Thomas still compete against men despite his mental delusion? Why do we have to reaccommodate all female sports for a single individual that obviously has an advantage with bone density and testosterone production? Why is it now our problem? Why does society have to reorganize and reconfigure for one very loud, obviously disturbed person. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. So, you guys, we're back again to a new video. So, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cook. Pardon me for our, I normally call him Charlie Kick, not Kick, because he loves kicking us. So, you guys, Charlie Cook, Rex, deluded, pro trans, long head. Okay, this is going to be amazing to watch. I'm going to also check it out together. Let's get right into it. All right, hey. So I know you're buddy buddy with Michael Knowles. Recently, he said the phrase, "quote uh, We should eradicate transgenderism," and that, that, that is correct. Yeah, you got yeah, it right. So I know you From agree with him. public life. Yeah. I know you agree with him on some level. Um, how would you go about that? How do you eliminate transgenderism without yeah. eliminating transgenders? Okay, okay. Let's, that, I warned you about this. <laughs> I love the passion. Let the process play out, okay? Jeez. Um, so, to specifically, he said transgenderism, right, which is an ideology, and he well, said it, it they're, should... they're intertwined, like Judaism and Jewish people, like... Well, hold on, he hand, said from know. public life, okay? So, yeah, that's not the best example. It's just don't, don't use that one. Um, but, so, but let me kind of zero in on this. Yeah, I, I do agree with it 100%. The best way is that we should not be platforming or acting as if a mental delusion is normal, good for children, or something that is acceptable in decent society. That's true. So, in what way is it... Okay, so throughout history, we've had these uh, medical breakthroughs where we learn that things are just like how people are, you know? Who's to say that somebody is not born the wrong gender? Like, what is there? So I'm do it just again, asking, we're going to have to kick you out. Please don't interrupt. How do Continue. you know that what's happening right now isn't like a medical breakthrough? How do you know it is a mental illness to be eradicated? Yeah, 5,000 years of recorded history and common sense that men can't But back hurt. in history, were there not like skeletons being dug up with female artifacts around them? Were there not sculptures of two married women? I mean, it's been no. a thing forever. It's been, I well, mean... Transgenderism. Let's, let's play this LGBTQ. out. So, so how do I know that biological reality is true? Chromosomes. I'm not arguing about biological well, reality. Yeah, my, my chromosomes instruct my opinion first and foremost. So XX, XY chromosomes, and I reject the term gender. Actually, it's sex, and you you have a sex at birth, and you cannot change that. So let me just kind of ask a question. Medical advancements. The medical community can be very wrong. We used to do lobotomies, and I'm glad we stopped doing that. So doctors have been wrong before, hmm. and in fact, doctors have been wrong about a lot of things over the last hundred years. And in fact, if all of a sudden the medical consensus from the AMA, which is headquartered right down the street, by the way, is that we have to have these g pediatric gender-affirming reassignment clinics that have breast reduction surgery or literally mastectomies for 12 or 13-year-olds to then assign them Lupron estrogen and testosterone treatment for somebody that might just be going through puberty and having anxiousness and unease, I'm probably going to call that doctor a fraud. And any person with common sense should do that too. Okay, super quick. Last thing. So my main question was sure. about the term eradicate transgenderism. Yeah, sure. so can I give you some examples? Yeah, uh, sure. we, sh we shouldn't teach it in our schools. Thank we you. also shouldn't allow men to compete against women in NCAA sports. Thank you. Okay. What about what about the people who are transgender that have converted are currently how about transgender? This? So why Did you forcefully detransition them? Yeah, how about, or what's why, the why couldn't Thomas still compete against men despite his mental delusion? Why do we have to reaccommodate 
all female sports for a single individual that obviously has an advantage with bone density and testosterone production. Mm. Why is it now our problem? Why does society have to reorganize and reconfigure for one very loud, obviously disturbed person? Would it be more fair to say, okay, you have a problem, so keep competing in the category that you were born to. You can still wear whatever you want, I guess, and dress and do the treatments you want, but since you're such an excellent swimmer, go swim against boys. Oh, because he's a narcissist and he used to finish 200 against boys, and when he competes against girls, he wins the championship because he's a cheat. Because it's all about him, not about the competition yeah. or about fairness. True. True. Okay, I mean, that's all I was wondering. Thanks. True, 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 true. Tell does spill out of you. This was amazing to watch. Uh, transgenderism itself, what I don't support is you teaching it to kids in school, number one. And people leaving men's sports to come to women's sports to cheat on that sport because your bone density is, is different from a woman and winning them in the sports and taking the trophy because you just identify as a woman. It's delusional. It's silly. Number three is telling us to use pronouns whereas you can see clearly you are a man when you are saying you are a woman. It's, it's, it's really, 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 really bad. I hate that. I hate whenever someone tells you does uh, identify as a woman. Where we can see that you are a man, you just dress as a woman. It's, it's, it's crazy. This itself was amazing to watch. I love how Charlie handled his entire video. Um, his entire speech was amazing. Um, the pro trans, I call him pro trans because he's actually a pro trans. He supports the transgender reason as a whole. And he is he's needed clarification. That's what I'm going to use. He needed clarification. And Charlie just pointed it out clearly for him to see. This aspect of transgender regime, oh, it's, it's delusion. It's bad. It's it's terrible that people will wake up one morning and say they want to change their gender. He said that Charlie said we should stop using the word gender. Okay, they want to change their sex. How in the world do you want to change your sex? Whereas we are born to this word, a man, and you want to turn to a woman. It's it's terrible, guys. It's, it's, if you think about it, where it's it's really bad. You can't tell me you feel like because you have freedom of speech and free will to walk anywhere you feel like you don't feel like and you expect everyone to feel like the same way you feel like no we owe you nothing we owe you absolutely nothing to call you a woman whereas we are seeing you as a man for us to use such pronouns for you we owe you nothing and who are you to tell us to use such pronouns um whenever i hear about transgenderism and trans as a whole it gets me Heated, it got me triggered. It got me. I'm just, I'm just kind of like pissed because I feel like that is delusion itself. It's, it's a high delusion. Anyone who's transgenders, they're delusional. And the drugs, the puberty blockers they're taking, it's bad for them. It's expensive. These pharmaceutical companies are draining them of their money. It's expensive, and at the same time, it's, it's bad for their health. You're telling um, a woman, a girl to go and cut off her, her breast at the age of 12, 13 because she said she feel like she's a man. A few years, 10 years later, they're regretting it. Some of them commit suicide. And you say, oh, she supports such arts or transgen transgenderism. A lot of them are dying, guys. A lot of them are, are regretting their actions. It's, 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 it's really bad. People are taking this for for joke. It's it's terrible. This itself is causing more harm to our society. And anytime you hear about transgenderism, they're all coming from the left. They're promoting it. And people who are funding those people, because there must be a funding that is backing this transgenderism, the LGBTQ plus, there is a funding. This is a propaganda to, to create more division between us, between the society as a whole. Not first it was racism, now it's LGBTQ, transgenderism. You don't identify me as this. You don't like it's huh, all 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 these words that are using. You see people from the Libra, from the from the left. It's 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 terrible, guys. Because this world we are in right now, it's 
it's serious to see that we are we are leaving humanity as a whole. We are we are we are really changing. If you had to dig up any person body 10, 20, 40, 100, 200 years ago, the if the skeleton still exists and confirm, you you will notice it's either two sexes, male or female. You 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 don't change that. Some people have deformities. Why they have been that is um gender dysphoria. Those are those are those are this those are deformities. We all know that those are disorders. A, a man that has been born with a female genitalia or a woman a female that has been born with a man genitalia. Those are disorders. That does not mean that is who they are. You understand? Those are disorders. We we all know that it happens. But they are disorders. And I understand such people. But someone who does wake up one morning and tell me that he feels like a woman and he wants to join the I want to join the women's sports to to win them because he feels like he's been oppressed in the men's sports and he's not getting the recognition he wants. So he wants to go to the women's sports. It is delusion in a high level, guys. It's 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 bad. And I love how Charlie talks to the students like properly, like no no harsh words or anything bad. They came to an agreement and that's what matters. And uh, this entire video was beautiful to watch. And I loved the entire debate. It was respectful. So comment down below to think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales on.